Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. My name's Alice and today's video is an Agatha Christie special for her birthday and I'll be telling you all about it in a moment. Hi everyone, um, today's video is going to be a bit different. As you may have seen from my videos already this week, I have been celebrating Agatha Christie's birthday on the 15th of September and to do that I thought I would create some Agatha Christie content. I ran a poll last week on Instagram about what video should I make to celebrate Agatha Christie's birthday. Most people voted for the option of my top 10 overall Agatha Christie so that is a video that you will definitely be seeing but the most interesting suggestion that I had was to create my own Hercule Poirot or Miss Marple. That was a suggestion from Julie at The Hungry Bookworm and I asked Julie to elaborate on this and she said create them however you want. So I thought it's an interesting idea. I don't normally show myself doing anything creative on the channel, I just talk about books. So I thought that today I would bring you a little bit of a creative vlog um, in which I'm going to create my own Hercule Poirot. Now, my only real creativity is crocheting, so it will be a crochet project and I am not much of a one yet for inventing my own crochet patterns. So I've looked online for a, a Hercule Poirot pattern and I found and bought one on Etsy. I'm going to link the, the shop in the description down below in case you were to want to buy a Hercule Poirot pattern and it looks pretty cool. I printed it out but my printer's not, not working the best um, but hopefully this is what my little Poirot is going to look like and yeah so I'm not going to be sharing the pattern in any more detail than this yeah I did get it from Crochetlandia and I bought it myself on Etsy I haven't made the pattern yet but I highly recommend uh, the shop because the price was good slightly different than usual crochet vlog I may also make this a bit of a reading vlog as well because this week I'm reading Mrs McGinty's Dead by Agatha Christie and this is a Poirot and it's my second read of it and yeah I'm enjoying it so far. I'm on chapter 8. So far Poirot is not really enjoying himself investigating this case. So yeah so a bit of Poirot reading, a bit of Poirot making. I did mean to show you some ingredients that I'm going to be using to make the Poirot. I've got my uh, safety eyes for making Poirot's eyes. So the pattern says that I'm going to need a 3mm and a 4mm crochet hook. I have two 3mm ones uh, but I don't actually have a 3mm one, it's very small so I've got the nearest that I've got which is my 2.5 so we'll use those and I have also got some grey yarn and some sort of beige -ish yarn that I'm going to use for Poirot's suit instead of a light grey and I'm going to use the light grey instead of dark grey because I don't have a dark grey. Got some sort of beige-ish skin colour there um, that we can use. I've got some white for his collar, some black for I think the band of his hat, his bow tie possibly and his shoes so that would be good. And I've got some stuffing ready to stuff him with and we'll also need a stitch marker a few of those and we will be needing my trusty tapestry needle as well to sew bits together. I'll check in with you in a minute, let's crochet a Hercule Poirot. I'd just check in and show you how I'm getting on with crocheting Poirot. Did some filming of 
a bit of crochet yesterday but it didn't really come out too well and also I stopped recording because I spent all my time trying to join the legs together and do the bit after the legs which is very very tricky for me because I can't seem to count and when I did count it seemed to go wrong anyway so I finally managed to do it but it wouldn't have been very good footage if I had filmed it so I'm glad I didn't but now we have Faro's legs and we've just gone on to the different colour for the start of his body so we've got his shoes his legs and the bottom part of his body so it's looking good so far still quite a long way to go to make this into Hercule Poirot but we will keep going I'll check in with you again later made quite a few of the bits of Poirot and we have the legs and body this is going to be his, his jacket and we have his arms and I've also done the hat just going to put together these bits and show you assembling the body so let's do that So we now have, we have Hercule Poirot without a head and only a hat. So I'm going on to the last bit of the make which is going to be Poirot's head and I also need to make his moustache obviously on the head and he's also going to be wearing a tie and a collar. So let's do the head next. Just stuff the head. So we've got Poro here. Did his moustache. Just stuffed it. So now we need to assemble Poro. Again, I've finished the Poirot and it's time to show you the finished result. Harry is also eagerly awaiting the unveiling so let's show you Hercule Poirot. So yeah here is Hercule Poirot himself. Um, there was also a pattern for Poirot's bowler hat but I'm not very happy with how it turned out so and this is the hat and to me it just doesn't look very bowler hat-ish I think that it needed a bit of a bigger brim and it doesn't go so well on his head really but you could have him wearing the hat if you wanted to but I just don't think it looks very bowler hat-ish so I'm not so keen on the hat um, but yeah so this is my crochet poirot thank you julie for the suggestion for the video i really enjoyed making hercule poirot and i think he definitely looks better without his hat on though i enjoyed making his his little jacket his suit um, his little bow tie was quite fun and of course his famous mustaches project creator hercule poirot is complete and of course, happy birthday to Agatha Christie, whose birthday actually is on this day of filming. I think this video is going to be out in a couple of days, but I've been doing some reading of 
her autobiography in celebration and I've spent lots of the day making Hercule Poirot so I don't know what Agatha Christie herself would think to that. Probably not a lot as she famously grew very tired of Poirot so never mind. I hope you've enjoyed watching a bit of a different vlog with some crochet. I hope you like my Hercule Poirot. Let me know in the comments down below do you prefer Poirot with or without his hat? Um, I wonder if there's something I can do to the hat to make it more bowler hat-ish. I think I like him without the hat but let me know in the comments if you prefer him with the hat. If you are a crochet lover please also let me know in the comments down below if you know how to improve the hat because my pattern doesn't say anything else about it. So this was a bookish crochet vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do chat to me in the comments about your favourite bookish characters and whether you've ever attempted to make any of them in any form. I did also make a Hercule Poirot Halloween pumpkin one year. If I can find a picture of that I'll put it up on the screen. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy bookish videos. I hope you'll all join me and Poirot again soon for another video all about books here on Alice in the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now. Au revoir mes amis. No, Harry, it's not for you. It's not for you. You leave Poirot, no, you leave Poirot alone. You leave Poirot alone. Let me show Poirot.